You know, the use of snakes in medicine is incredibly interesting. Indeed, it can give you in some insight into how we develop drugs. Uh, back in the 1960s, uh, it was noted that the Brazilian viper's bite caused people to have a drop in blood pressure. Trying to figure out why this occurs led to the discovery of a drug which actually lowers blood pressure. It's called Captoprel. It's widely available and it's been FDA approved in the United States since the late 1970s. Also, we've noticed that people who get bitten by rattlesnakes end up bleeding a great deal. This has led to a number of blood thinning medications. Heparin, for example, is a blood thinning medication that's commonly used. People who can't use heparin because of allergy frequently get an extract of rattlesnake venom. These things are things that doctors who are in practice will frequently use, but you don't actually think about them sometimes as being from a snake. Most snake venoms actually come from the fangs of uh, vipers, water moccasins, rattlesnakes, or cobra. A very brave individual who's very skilled in doing this actually can hold the head of the snake, hold it over a glass, and actually milk the fangs, and you'll see the venom actually accumulate in the glass. If all snakes disappeared, it would be a shame. There's some uh, proteins from certain snake venoms that may actually be very useful in the treatment of cancer, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, even asthma. There's certainly other things that we're going to develop in the future that we could lose if we lost all snakes and didn't study snake venoms.